Welcome to a video on how to use mass change dates. Uh, so if you're setting up your own course and you want to set the due dates, the first thing is, are you using this with Canvas? If you're integrating with Canvas, you probably just want to go to Course Settings, LMS Integration, and allow the LMS to set due dates. And that will allow you to set all your due dates in Canvas and have that passed to Ohm. Unfortunately, that only works with Canvas, so if you are not using Canvas, then we have a really nice feature called Mass Change Dates. If you go into Mass Change Dates, you can see that we've got, um, normally it comes in like this and has everything listed, but the only thing I'm really concerned about uh, setting the dates for would be the assessments, so I'm going to filter by assessments, and that will... Um, adjust this down here. Uh, I want to set it up for fall of 2024, so I've got some notes here on what I want my assignments due. And so I would like everything due uh, for the first module August 30th, 2024. So I'm going to click on this icon here, I hit this month, then I'm going to go to August, choose the 30th. I'd like to have everything due at 11.59 p.m. And I can come over here and say, there's a lot of different options here, and I'm just gonna stick with what's the most common, and that is to set up the end date. So I'm gonna copy down end date and time. It's gonna say I didn't select everything, anything, so it's going to just apply it to everything below that. That's fine, so I'll click OK. I'm going to leave the start dates alone because I can control visibility with my LMS. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Now with uh, module two, I want that to be due on September 20th. So I'm going to do the same process here, but starting out here, I'm going to go to September 20th, select that, and I will copy down the end date and time. Once again, it's going to do everything below that. And I'll do it one more time for Module 3. And this time I'm going to use October 11th. And I will copy down end date and time. And as you can see, everything is now October 11th. I could continue to do that for the rest of the modules. Um, but I'm going to save changes now. And that's very important that you save changes. And now if I were to go back in and look, you can see everything for Module 1 is due on August 30th, Module 2, September 20th, Module 3, October 11th. And I could uh, also set up late pass cutoff. Sometimes uh, you want to let your students maybe use late passes, but only for the first half of the course until um, when the midterm is due. So the midterm is actually going to be due October 18th. So if I wanted to have my students use late passes on the first three modules, but then cut them off at October 18th and say the first half of the course is done, then what I would want to do is first I need to make uh, the late pass cutoff. I need to change it. As you can see up here, it says that I can click this icon right next to it to change it. Or I could also go here, check everything and change the selected items, the late pass cutoff, and make it by dates. Once I do that, now I've got dates over here and I can do what I did before, and that is take this, go to October 18th, make this 11.59 p.m. And now copy down that late pass cutoff in time and it will do that for everything below there. And then again, of course, for the second half of the course, I would do everything similarly and cut off everybody at the end of uh, the final exam. Very important again to save changes. And again, you can find that under mass change on the left side under dates, and hopefully that is helpful to you.